cornerstone of, of our democracy is a free public education. And what separates us from other countries around the world is that it, in the United States, when we say free public education, we mean all means all. And when we talk about all, we're talking about all of our children. When we think about the work we do in education, we measure it by test scores and results. And I believe in performance metrics and I believe in results, but at the end of the day, that's not what I want to talk to you about. Because I want to take it back to the basic essence of the work we do in education. It's really all around relationships. Because when we build relationships with students, we endure and build the strength that they need to be successful. When we build relationships with young people, and we don't give up on them, even when they want us to give up on them, we prove that they can exceed not only their expectations, but the ones that we've set for them. Now, there are many stories that we could share about building relationships, but I just want to share one. And it's a story about a young man named Antoine. And Antoine was a student of mine when I was a principal here in Boston. And Antoine was a special needs student. Antoine had both behavioral and, and cognitive disabilities. A Antoine was a challenging young man. When I say challenging, he was not only challenging in the classroom, he was physically challenging. He was six feet tall, he was over 300 pounds, I'm 5'3". But Antoine and I started to have a relationship. I was his principal and he was in trouble quite a bit. And Antoine, he was in a program that quite frankly, never would guarantee that he would graduate from high school. But I took an interest in Antoine because that's my job. And he and I began to build a great relationship. And that relationship was challenged. It was built on tough love and hard decisions and care and love and empathy and, and passion. And that work that we did together was really about me getting to know him and him getting to know me. And believe me, there were people in the school that didn't want Antoine there and wanted us to suspend him when he misbehaved, but folks didn't understand that his behavior was part of his disability and that if we found different ways to work with young people like Antoine, they too could prove that they could be successful. So the story of Antoine is a, is a wonderful story around a relationship, around a commitment to work. It's kind of funny, you know, I said he was six feet tall, he was over 300 pounds, and Antoine probably read and wrote at an elementary school level in high school, and like I said, he wasn't doing well in school. But a group of dedicated people wrapped themselves around Antoine and worked with him, and Antoine began to do better in school. And we built this amazing relationship. And in fact, one day he wrote a story. It started off like this. He calls me Big Dog, and I call him Little Dog. So I was Little Dog, and Antoine was Big Dog. And we had a, a wonderful relationship, as I said, and we worked very hard. And there were times when it was explosive and it was dangerous. But I never gave up on Antoine, and teachers in the building didn't give up on Antoine either. A couple years into that job, I got recruited to go to San Diego, and I left during Antoine's senior year. Antoine still didn't pass the MCAS, it was the middle of the senior year, and I went to work in San Diego. Kept relations with the folks that I work with in Boston, and one day I got a phone call from the special ed director, and she said, guess what? I said, what? She said, Antoine passed the MCAS, he's gonna graduate. And she goes, it gets better, because Gabe passed too. And she gave me a third student who passed. She said, put him on the phone, I want to talk to him. I talked to Antoine, Antoine said, oh my God, I'm so proud, you never gave up on me, I'm going to graduate from high school. I'm going to be the only kid in my neighborhood that graduates. My parents are going to be so proud of me. And believe me, I built a relationship with his whole family. I was so proud of him. I couldn't come home to his graduation, even though he invited me, because I was in San Diego, but we stayed in touch. Antoine graduated that year. A year later, I came back and worked in the superintendent of Swampscott Public Schools. Read the newspaper, I see a name. Then the phone rings. It's Antoine's aunt. Antoine got shot in the back of the head on Morden Street. 20 years old and died in his mother's arms. She said, I'm calling you. because I want you to give a eulogy to my nephew. His mother wanted me to call you and ask you to do that. And I said, why would you want me to do that? She said, because you never gave up on Antoine. And you proved that love can be powerful through a relationship because you believed in him. 
So I showed up at Morningstar Baptist Church in Blue Hill Ave. Mattapan, 1,700 people. I got up there, had my sunglasses on, I took them off. I said, I'm not ashamed to cry today to show my love for Antoine, someone that folks didn't believe in, but he proved to us that he could achieve, and he did. Reverend Borders came over to me and said, I want you now to sit on my altar. I want you to imagine that for a second, me sitting on the altar at Morningstar Baptist. I'm a child of the 70s. I don't remember if you remember the show, The White Shadow, but that's how I felt. I felt accepted in a place that was not home to me because I cared about someone else's child. Years have gone on, and I talk to folks in classrooms about building relationships and never giving up on kids and why all means all. When we say all, we want all kids to get to the end zone. And all too often, we have too many people that give up and shut down and slow down and say, no, these kids can't. When I know, and there's people in this room, and there's people in the field know that they can't. A couple weeks ago, I'm out at a school visit. Ran into a former student from that same generation of Antoine. She came up to me. She said, we're proud of you. Now think about that for a second. We're proud of you. I said, what do you mean by that? So we're proud of you. I thought about that for a few weeks. I sit in the highest education position in this state, Secretary of Education. I sit at 50,000 feet making decisions on policy and governance and structure, things that are so above where the action is. And I'm sitting in those seats, and all I'm thinking about is how are we going to save kids like Antoine? Now, I think about that for a second. The work about relationships makes us who we are. When we take a risk and build a relationship with a young person, it pays itself back tenfold. All means all. All kids deserve an opportunity. All kids deserve that interaction. When I think about Antoine now, and I think about why I get out of bed every day, to do this work. I wish I could be telling you a happy story right now. You know, I'm all about life changes and world changes and life savers, and I fail. I didn't save Antoine's life, and I've been thinking a lot about this. I don't do this work that I do today because I want to. I do it because I have to. And when you think about who saved who, it's Antoine that saved me. My commitment to public education is to make sure that those Antoines of the world, those kids that we know that everyone else has given up on, that don't have a hope and don't have a chance, my commitment is to make sure that they have access to opportunity, to education, and to success. I get up every single day and I think about Antoine and others like him, Mark Old Charles, Francis Stevens, I could go on for a long time. Public education is about us taking risk in young people who have given up on themselves and providing them a pathway to success. My commitment, my desire, my hope for all of us here today is to think about the risk and responsibility and the work we do to give back in order to move all of us ahead. I share this story with you for one reason today. We talk about education, we talk about metrics, we talk about performance. All of that's important, but what matters at the end of the day is the relationship between adult and a child, and that is it. In one word, what's our work about? Love. Thank you.